Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Hi! Uh, today I'm very very excited because I stumbled across a vintage 1950s makeup kind of tutorial the other day and I thought I would follow it and kind of compare modern day versus 1950s and how they kind of did things. So yeah, let's just get on with it. So straight away as you can see, uh, this is my modern day basket. There's a lot of things in there and uh, this is my 1950s basket not so much so I think this side's gonna be modern this side's gonna be 1950s and uh, yeah I've moisturized my whole face because I'm not putting makeup on without moisturizer and I'm going to prime this side of my face using my Avant primer so I have kind of skimmed through the 1950s tutorial but I haven't really like properly listen to it and things because I needed to find out what I needed for this tutorial but uh, I already know it's going to be very different uh, yeah very different so that's a nice half of my face primed and ready to go so this exact video is called vintage 1950s makeup tutorial 1951 film so this was filmed in 1951 and we're just gonna see th what they want us to do not only to know how but when to use it. For instance, you wouldn't anymore go to school wearing mascara and eyeshadow and lipstick than you would go to school wearing an evening gown. Consider first a foundation. Foundation are bases which go on over throat and face to add a texture and color tone. So it looks like she's using um, like a stick. So I've got my Revolution Stick foundation and she kind of rubs it on the back of her hand and then puts it on from that, like this, hang on. Whatever the type of foundation, smooth it into the skin, blend and keep blending. So I'm just like taking it from the back of my hand and just kind of, <laughs> this is good. Okay, I can already tell this is taking so long um, compared to like modern day, but it works, I guess, you know. This like putting it on your hand first, <sighs> okay. Okay, I need a lot on my nose because I can't exactly see from the film whereabouts they put it, but I'm just sticking it everywhere. Oh my god, the last time I rubbed in foundation with my fingers, I can't even remember. This is so weird and the texture isn't brilliant on my face, but we'll, we'll go with it. I'm just going to tap it in a bit so it isn't as like textury. No matter how thickly you put it on, you can't hide a badly cleansed, broken out skin and a thick foundation emphasizes wrinkles. Makes for an unattractive, unreal look. That just got too real. Um, okay. Blend and keep on blending. So this is how it's looking. You know, good coverage, but yeah. So now I'm just gonna do my foundation how I normally would on this side. Okay, so this is already a lot more than I used on this side of my face, but I'm just gonna blend it all out and then, yeah. And I am using a brush. Because I find using a brush just makes it on the face so much better and nicer. My face is literally sweating. Oh my god, it's so warm right now. <sighs> okay, so in the vintage tutorial, the next step is blush. So um, I think there's like no concealer, no highlighter, no bronzer, nothing like that. So I think I'm just going to do that how I normally would. And just kind of skip to my blush step so we can get on with it. Okay, so I'm back and uh, my face is looking a little bit different on both sides of my body. So on this side already I have added five extra products on this side of my face than I did to this side of the face. And um, So let's see uh, what they did about blush. This is wrinkles. Makes for an unattractive, unreal look. Put on lightly, blend and keep on blending. Now to the question of rouge. Rouge is a tint, not a paint. Use lightly and blend it on, and slightly below the bone under your eye. Again, blend and keep blending. Upwards, and you add sparkle. Rouge, unblended into the skin, used heavily, makes you look older. Okay, so she's using um, a cream blush. So I've got my Dr. Paw Paw cream. Uh, so she set, she takes it on her finger, she says the bone under your eye, so your cheekbone, and just under it, which, yeah, seems about right. Uh, 
I put way too much on my finger right now. Uh, so finger, she says blend and keep, but this is way too much. We're looking very shiny. We are looking shiny. Yeah, I definitely put way too much on, but you know, we're making up for this. <laughs> So that's the blush on this side. For the blush on this side, I'm using my Milani Luminoso and on a brush instead of just with my fingers. Just go in here. And these are very different colours. And I am also going to add it. How do you add blush to half of your nose? Um, <laughs> does that look good? There we go. So the next thing they say is about eyebrows. So let's see what they say about that. The eyebrows frame the eye, not to be noticeable in itself, just accent the natural look. Sketch out the line of each hair in the direction in which the hair grows, beginning with the line parallel with the corner of the eye. Okay, so it looks like she's using a pencil, which I will use, and she just says, go over the natural line of your brows, which, okay. I'm just gonna do tiny little brow strokes up, accenting the natural brow. I don't think I need too much because I, I have a pretty full brow as it is. Oh, I can already see creasing as well. There's a lot of creasing happening under here than under here because under here we put a lot of powder on. Here, there's no concealer, but there is no powder either, so. So my mum's just come in. What side of my face do you like better? Well, I think you're gorgeous no matter what. But I can see that you've put makeup on your left hand cheek. This one? This one? Yes. This one. But makeup wise, which one? Makeup wise. Have you got makeup on both cheeks? Oh, yeah. yes, you have. Yeah, this side or that side? The more natural side is the right side. This one? Yes, that's the more natural so side. This one's the more natural side. Yes. This side is a 1950s tutorial. Wow. And that side is my everyday. I would say your left side, which is the 1950s tutorial, yeah. would possibly be a going out look, whereas the other cheek mm -hmm. is the more natural look. Wow, that's interesting. Why? Okay, because I've put a lot more product on my normal. No. Yeah, a lot more product on this side than that side. And there's no many... concealer here, there's no powder here, there's only foundation, blush and brows. And what's on that side? Foundation, concealer, powder, uh, bronzer, contour, highlight, blush. That's interesting because that looks a lot more natural. Here to your face. This side looks a lot more natural. There you go. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. There you go. This is. A, I do look like I've been punched, but we are going to powder it later because I have seen this video before. So, my brow, my 1950s brow, is done. It's very natural. For my everyday, I thought, well, this is what I normally do on an everyday basis anyway, but I thought to make it more like dramatically different, I'm gonna use a pomade. <laughs> I lit I never use pomades normally, so, so I'm just gonna whack it on, whack on a brow pomade. Okay, brows done. And um, yeah, I do look a little bit like a clown on this side. Let's see what's next. You'll have a beautiful, clean line. Eye shadow is also an aid to eye beauty. Choose a color that brings out your own eye color. Blue for blue eyes. Using just a bit of... Okay, when they said, um, use a color that brings out your natural color. So if I have blue eyes, that means kind of, um, I would normally go for like browns and things to kind of bring them out. No, they said blue, uh, for blue eyes. So I've got to put blue eyeshadow on now. Add into the clown aesthetic. The shadow on your finger, begin tracing the line as close to the lid edge as possible. Okay, so. <laughs> Got my Colourpop Blue Moon palette, which is very blue. Which, which blue? I don't know which blue I need to use. Maybe Starry Eyed, which is this one. So they say, take it on a finger and put it as close to the lid edge as possible. Is that the lash line or like the, the crease? I don't know. Okay, so it's like the outer V, I think. So, oh no. So I'm gonna have to, oh, I hate this. Oh, look how like creased my, my eyes are as well. But no powder, we can't do that. So blue for blue eyes. They said to. Ah! I don't think this is what they meant. I'm just gonna blend it, like they said, up into the crease, using my finger. 
I look like, you know, uh, that Tracy Beaker picture. That's what I feel I look like right now. Is that good? It's not, but like, is this what they mean? <laughs> I can't, I look like a clown. I can't. Right, I'm just gonna leave it there. Right, there we go for eyeshadow. We're looking really good. For this eye, I'm using my Wildlife palette by Barry M. And I am just going to do a very, very simple, everyday kind of thing. So a, a brown in the crease. Okay, this is my, I've literally just used one colour. I've used the shade Savannah in the Barry M. I just, that's atrocious. I use the shade Savannah from the Barry M palette. I just put that through my crease and then a little bit under my eye as well. And that's literally all I'm gonna do. I just want it to be very everyday. Okay, so now she put, I think it's mascara that she puts on. And um, yeah, let's just. Use tastefully, use sparingly. Wipe brush almost dry. Then apply just on the top lashes only. Okay, so we take our wand they want us to just wipe everything off they said till it's almost dry this definitely isn't my style of lash as you know but i'm wiping it off and use sparingly they said so here we go i don't want to go too full out because they told me not to and they told me to put it on the upper lashes only which we know <laughs> i'm not a fan of now take a dry brush again Brush each lash separately. Okay, so I'm going to take my spoolie that I use for my brows. So, yep, yeah, this is a dry brush, and I'm just gonna go through my lashes with it. There we go. Do I look pretty yet? So, I'm gonna do my mascara and lashes on this side. Every day for me, I do put lashes on. It's just an everyday thing that I like to do, it makes me feel more confident. So I'm going to smother my lashes with mascara and I'm going to put some fake lashes on because that is what I do every day. Call me crazy, but it's what I do every day. Okay, so that has drastically changed the game. Um, looking very different now. And um, what else do we need to do? The beauty of the eye is what you see, not the makeup. The use of lipsticks is one of the greatest tests in your artistry and good taste in using makeup. For the cleanest, most natural line, Use a brush. Okay, so they want us to use a brush. So I have a lip brush and it does look like they're using red, which will go beautifully with our blue eyeshadow. And a little practice and you'll be an expert. Fill the brush with color. As always, you can check color by effect. Do you notice the lips themselves or do you say, there is a lovely woman? Trace a clean, unexaggerated line Staying as close to the natural line as possible. Okay, so they want us to do a line staying as close to the natural lip as possible. Like this? Am I 1950s approved this side? Oh my god. Hmm! <laughs> now this is important. Blot off all excess. So we're going to blot off all the excess. I've got a little cotton pad here and I'm just like that. Unblotted lipsticks are pasty looking. Blot for the smooth, clean, natural look and study the impression left on the tissue. Okay, so lips are done and I'm just going to do what I normally do. I've got a lipstick that I would normally pair with this look and I'm just, just going to put it on without a liner because you don't really need to, do you? Who actually does that every day in their routine? There we go. Literally, I've no brush, because who does that? And I'm not blotting it off, because pigment. <laughs> now for powder. Take a clean piece of cotton. Use fresh each time for absolute cleanliness. Okay, so they powder now um, with a loose powder, so I'm using my Cody Airspun. Finally, I don't even know if you can see this, my under eyes creased and this will take away all the shine of that blush as well because it's been doing my head in. So, okay, so I'm just going to, oh, okay, so that's all patted down. 
blush is definitely way too much i put way too much on there but um it just adds to the the character right <laughs> so this is the finished look guys how do you um we have our 1950s and we have our 2020 look i'm gonna give you a good old close-up okay this is what we're working with the 1950s blue eyeshadow brows aren't that bad but yeah blush was my fault way too much mm -hmm. and then 2020 this is what we're working with so yeah which side do you guys prefer be sure to leave it down in the comments i'll be reading them when this goes live be sure to like and subscribe i'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by the 7th of september which is my birthday and i will see you next time for another video bye guys